Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, let's see what the charts uh, tells us today. Uh, there's not a lot uh, of differences since yesterday, so I hope there is something useful that I can tell you. So let's go directly to the... Oh, just before we go directly, let's go indirectly to something I forgot to mention. So I'm, I'm trying to change the uh, thumbnails and also the... Um, the look of the channel so i will probably announce that uh some kind of uh you know contest or something like that and i will ask um, people that follow the channel and other people that follow me on twitter just to suggest what they would like to see and also if there are some designers on the audience and some designers also following me on twitter uh, I would like to uh, announce that maybe soon we will have a contest to see if you want to participate and change all the uh, image of the design image of the channel. So let's see how that goes. But today I'm just using a new thumbnail that I plan to use uh, always the same thumbnail uh, with a cleaner image and not so many things. Um, so let's see. And as soon as I have some ideas, then I will, I will of course, tell you guys. Okay, so, okay, so let's go directly to screen share. Uh, so let's start with the price of time model. Um, not a lot has changed. As you guys know already, we are just accumulating. We are going sideways. This is just a range and a very boring range, by the way. That's why we have been uh, not doing almost anything. We have been trading for a long time already inside the dump zone. So there is nothing to do. There are no ranges so far. Only the, probably the third range, range boundary was formed a few days ago, as you guys know. And besides that, uh, the ones that didn't do anything, they will have to wait again. And this could be a bit boring. But however, we are still above the 20 week uh, SMA and below the threshold, uh, the threshold curved line. So uh, as, as the price to time, uh, price to time model goes, uh, you guys know already that this is the perfect position for the price action in between the 20 week SMA and the threshold curved line here. So there is not a lot to do to to say about the price of time uh, model today and let's check what's happening on the mri strategy here so we start with the weekly uh, so today i decided to turn on one of the indicators i also use sometimes which is the sars this is the lucid sar and we are still uh, so the sar is still giving me the signal that we are bearish uh, as long as the, the signals are above the price action, this means the SAR is bearish. And as long as the dots, the blue dots you guys see here, are below the price action or below the candles, this means that this um, the market is bullish. So, so far for the weekly chart, the SAR is indicating still some bearishness. Uh, however, the candles are holding their positions around this area. You guys know already this is the 56,000, this red line I have here. Let me confirm that. Yes, this is the 56,000. So we have been holding the price action around here, 56. This candle uh, went down there, but one of the bullish signs is that it didn't go below the green candle uh, before it. So we did not even uh, break half of that candle. So and then went up again for another try. It failed. So this week we have been going down, but now the price is being uh, held at around 56,000, which is a very good support line. Uh, it has been also in the past, as you guys know, from all these weeks, all these weeks back here uh, were above the 56,000 line. So it's a very good indication that we have support here. Let's see, the volume is declining a bit again. The RSI is starting to point down, also, uh, all, although it's not very steep inclination. The MACD continues to be uh, bearish. We have a bigger uh, bar today. You guys remember yesterday we had only three bars and they, are, they were very, very small in size. Today we have a bigger one and the blue line is uh, getting a bit of distance from the orange line. So this indicates a bit more of bearishness, at least for the weekly MACD. 
and for the weekly chart that's what i have for you guys today so we are still below the um my trend line the first the first line of the of my support of the trend lines uh of course we are above the second trend line but this would be a very very um big drop if we go back here this would go around 40 again uh in just two weeks we we one two yeah around three weeks we would be around the 40k in this trend line using this trend line here one of the good things that i see on the weekly chart is the fact that the 20 week simple moving average the sma is now around 49,000. So we are now on 49,000. Uh, next week we will be around 50 something, 50 and a half probably. If we continue at this pace, uh, so that's good because the, 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 the simple moving average is already above the level that we reached a few weeks ago when we had this big drop of two weeks in a row and we went to the 47,000 level. So now the 20 week simple moving average is catching up with the price action. As you guys know, this is already turning a bit. Uh, it's not going so, uh, the inclination is not so steep, but we are already around the 49,000 and next week, this will be one and a half thousand higher. So that's, that's also a very uh, bullish uh, sign that the simple moving average is catching up with the price action and probably it could support the price action if we are to touch it in a shorter time frame. So let's go to the daily. Um, the daily continues. So we continue the fight around the 56,000. You guys know already this is almost the mean line of all this range since back here and it's completely in the middle of the dumb zone so guys don't do anything don't trade don't sell don't buy this is the this is the perfect stage for gamblers uh you don't there's not a chance you can know if this is going up or down right now because we are not in a in a range boundary so you don't know that the probabilities will be higher for some kind of movement uh, movement down or up so this is the dumb zone as i call it uh, this is a no trade zone as tone vase calls it and uh, you shouldn't uh, try to do anything here you just know already that when you get to the range boundaries it's a good opportunity for going long and when you go to the top range boundaries it's a good opportunity to go uh, to take profit because we are in a bull market so i was going to say short but this is a bull market so you don't short the bull market okay so the volume although we were going a bit up here this is now stabilizing again just going sideways the rsi is completely in the middle doing nothing just going sideways the macd continues on the daily continues to slowly slowly uh, being bullish almost neutral so the blue line is now catching up or just approaching the orange line so the blue line is going a bit down however we are still with green bars and the blue line above the orange line so for now for today we are still in a very very slightly bullish market for the daily chart uh, the bitmax funding rate it's not moving a lot so it's, it's 0 0.02 but this is the daily so let's check the four hour and here it is the four hour so we are still fighting for this area, the 56,000. Uh, we were just waiting for the MRI to load. And as you guys know, there is this huge area of the range that we have been seeing for the last few days, weeks. Uh, and we are just going up and down, up and down, guys. This is consolidation. This is just boring as hell. You shouldn't do anything. So just hold your positions define your stop losses if you are if you are a bit more conservative and you could get afraid of the market behavior just define your stop losses try to lock uh, your stop losses at some point where you still have some gains if you have close to these price action positions uh, entry positions of course and that's that's my recommendation for you guys we have to wait because there are no signs of what this market is going to do. So we have to wait for the range boundaries to understand what could be, uh, what could the, the next move be. So we have to wait. And that's, that's the only thing you have to do right now. So the 
uh, the funding rate is around 0 0.04 after all because on the four hour chart this is a bit more updated on the four hour we are still in a bearish MACD also you guys can see it here although this is turning a bit back up so I see some signs of stabilization of that uh, bearish move so I don't I don't believe that we are going a lot more uh, down than we went already this green line here is the bottom of the triangle so in any case if we go to the bottom of the triangle we can still reverse the price action and try to break out of the top of the triangle again so just boring price action nothing else to say about it i'm not even go to uh, check the one hour uh, let's just take a look quickly at the pro framework on the four hour so you guys know already from my previous video that i defined a few areas of interest this red area here on top is my take profit speculative area if we go there again i will take some profit because this is a range and it's really boring and possibly we are going down again because i don't see the strength in the market right now to have a breakout above the previous all-time high so i probably would take some profit for myself lock some gains I would, as an aggressive trader I am, I would take like 10-15% max, probably some more conservative people will, or traders will uh, take 25-35% of profits of their close to this price action entry positions, so that's my strategy if we go up again. Although I have a bullish sign here, I have a blue triangle on the pro indicators. You see already that there is some small signs that we could go above this 56 line that we are trying to, to fight for it uh, at the moment. And if the price continues to go down, you know already that my first long speculative area is this first rectangle, green rectangle here, and my second is this one. So we are although this is a very very big range in in you know in the size of the range from the top of the range to the bottom of the range we are much bigger than the previous ones we had like this one for example on the left so this means that we could have a very volatile price action from the top of the range to the bottom of that range but however it's still a range and you have to hold on to your positions or uh you know already my strategy um try to increase your positions down here or try to take some profits up there so basically this is what i have for you guys today let me just stop the screen share uh so um you know already uh it's boring i know it's it's very dull just to wait for something to tell us what to do but this is what you have to to um, endure while you have uh, Bitcoin or any other crypto assets so my recommendation is patience you have to be really patient don't do any crazy things um, don't try to fight the market because the market will just wreck you in, a, in an instant and don't gamble because this is the area where gamblers love to be uh, this is where you don't know there's 50 50 percent that the price could go up or down so there's no point there's no point in in trading right now so this is my advice be patient wait for the signals wait for the range boundaries and then you can take some actions and decide in a much more informed way what you should do in the markets okay guys so this is what i have for you guys today and i will see you on the next one bye bye